See if anybody hops in. Go ahead and get finished getting situated. Got all my materials. <clears throat> welcome to Crafting with Cos. I'm Cos. And welcome back to Crafting with Cos if you're back. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and see if anybody is going to be able to hop in. I was supposed to do this live video a little bit earlier, but um, I don't like to actually schedule like a specific time because I'm not 100% sure if I'm always going to be able to make that scheduled time. So um, give a couple of people a chance to hop in. If nobody's able to hop in, like I always, go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so... I'm actually going to be DIYing this uh, Valentine's Day throw pillow today. So I like it. It has um, some, it's very girly. So it has like, you know, some feathers to it. And then I actually used some Dollar Tree petals, rose petals that I got. So yeah, so I'm going to start going over some of the materials that I use for this project before we go ahead and start actually crafting. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this to the side then. <clears throat> and I guess when people start to hop in, then I'll go ahead and, you know, pull it back out so people can actually see what we're actually crafting. Alright, so for this project, you will need uh, uh, like a pillow form. I got this, um, it's a 14 by 14 size pillow, and I actually got this pillow from Hobby Lobby. And so, I actually also got some, rose, like I was saying before, some rose petals from the Dollar Tree. Alright, we got some people in there, okay, alright, thanks, thanks for stopping by. I was telling everybody that, um, oh, thank you. Let me know if y'all can see the comments too, because I know I was watching um, the playback. Hey guys, watching from the U. Oh, the U. I know people out the country watching. Hi, hi Mary Harris. Um, so yeah, I can I need to get it the right way. Hey, 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 Corinne. Hey. Um, so yeah. So yeah, let me know if y'all can see the comments, because like I was saying, I was watching the playback before and I couldn't. Um see comments so I don't know if it's just you can see comments like when it's during the live feed or I don't know how that works I was kind of trying to figure it out before I did the video that's what kind of took me a while because I was trying to do some troubleshooting but um I just decided to just roll with it for how however it was um comments come through okay thank you thank you Mary okay so yeah so like I was saying I'm going to be um doing this uh Valentine's Day throw pillow and I like it because it has texture using like the the petals as well as the feathers. So um, so yeah. So the materials that I'm going to be using for the project is going to be the pillow form as well as the decorative petals from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this faux fur, well, feather. <laughs> I got this feather boa from hobby lobby but they also have these in the dollar tree too well they don't have them for like the valentine's day colors this year but they have them for saint patrick's day so if you wanted to do this same diy and have like throw pillows for saint patrick's day you can do that too you know depending on how you like to celebrate it or if you if your favorite color is green they have green and uh it's like some gold specks in the feathers too so you can do it for a lot of more affordable price so got all of those things so not a lot of materials and then I got my glue gun going so it's already been hot it's been sitting here for a minute and then I got some extra glue sticks that I've used in some of my other previous projects just because I know it's going to use a few different um glue sticks so yeah, and then let me go ahead. I got the petals, so I'm going to be using some of the petals that I used 
previously with the other pillow first and then if I run out of these and I'll go ahead and open up the other bag so how's everybody's 2019 going so far yeah I'm still out here trying to fill it out and see what you know is what's the lineup what we got going on you know how you like just kind of peeking like <laughs> what's 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 around the corner so um so yeah and i'm also going to go ahead and cut this tag off of here it's just you know that tag that only the owner of the pillow can cut it off so i guess i can only cut it off <laughs> y'all remember when they used to have um where it was like against the law for e for anybody to cut the tag off of like the pillows or cut the tag off of the mattress or something. And then I guess they changed it and then they said just the owner can. But yeah, so this is gonna be pretty easy. Just might take a minute because you're gonna be adding um, a lot of different pe uh, petals for texture to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm kinda gonna make like a mirrored duplicate so it'll kind of be like a set and so I'm going to use the glue gun and I'm just going to use the glue gun to make a heart shape and I don't know if you could really see it the way you need to see it but I'm just going to use the glue gun and make a heart right in the center of it using the glue and then so it doesn't dry too fast I'm just going to do the first half of the heart and then I'm gonna do the other half after I do this half. So I guess I should have probably figured out how I'm gonna do the design first. Can I do that one? Okay. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out. Um, do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna do the opposite. But yeah. So. And it's raining again in Atlanta. I don't know. It rained in my last live video. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. And I'm still waiting on my snow. So I'll keep y'all posted if you don't live in Atlanta um, when the snow's coming. Because that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Let me know if y'all can kind of even see this. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, so you're just going to place the petals over the actual area where you placed all of the hot glue. And you just want to always be careful when you're using a hot glue gun as well. But I kind of just deal with the heat. Yeah, see like now it's already kind of starting to dry. So yeah, you want to kind of do a little bit at a time. But I like to use the glue gun to actually draw out the shape of it. So I can kind of know where everything is going to need to be placed. So. Which I got going on for your Saturday. And thanks again for um, for watching. If y'all have another day that you guys think will probably be, be a better day, um, then just kind of let me know. Because for me, with the way that my schedule is, uh, Saturdays usually tend to work the best. So... And I'm going to tilt this down a little bit so y'all can kind of see a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> uh, what time is it there? I have no idea. <laughs> no, it's about 3, 3, 3.30. It might be about 3.30 now. 3.15 p p.m. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, that's so much better. You can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just, y'all just in here 
talking. Y'all probably like, what you talking about? But yeah. So like I said before, you're just going to use the other and then mirror the same image on the other side. It's 8.30 p.m. Oh, wow. Okay. I've actually never been to the UK before. That is so cool. Like, I, yeah, that's, that's on my list. That's on my list of places to go out the country. Me and my homegirls were supposed to do, like, a tr out the country trip per year. But they're playing games. <laughs> they're playing games. So, if they're out there, know that y'all playing games. But, yeah. So, how is the weather in the UK? Is it, like, is it... Well, I guess it's it's night now, so freezing. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's not freezing here. It's like sixty degrees, so it's not bad at all. I mean, I got on a t-shirt today. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably put on a coat when I go outside, but for the most part, it's not bad at all. So, but yeah, I like this project because it's like I feel like. This could be like a throw pillow that you could find at like Target. You know. And not the dollar spot. <laughs> but the actual, like where you go in the uh, store. So yeah. It gives me Target vibes. But yeah. And I got this glue gun. You know, I probably need to do the next project probably needs to be one without the glue gun. Because. This glue gun string situation that I got going on. I don't know what that's about. Okay. So we got the, you can kind of see it. Got, a, got the heart situation kind of going. And so we'll be able to make that a little bit more, um, the heart a little bit more prominent or a little bit more detailed as I start to uh, add the other colors. So I'm going to add some pink around it and then, uh, so keep on so far. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Mary Harris. Thank you. So yeah. Um, but yeah. And I should have probably eaten before I did this too. I'm always going on here hungry. <laughs> I was going on here hungry. I'm always nervous to do these live videos. Like I've done a lot of them. I've only done one before this one. But I'm always kind of nervous. But then after I start it, it's like it's not so bad. Which I guess could be like some type of life lesson. That if you just do it, then it's not, not so bad. But yeah. Okay, so we're just going to keep adding some more petals. And I'm just using that to fill in the center area of the pillow. And Does everybody cook on Saturdays or do y'all usually go out to eat? This is just free for all Saturdays. Whatever you can get your hands on. And it's so crazy because it's like when I'm doing this, like I'm looking at myself doing it. <laughs> and so it's like talking to myself in the mirror. <laughs> Which I do. Don't get me wrong. I do it all day. Every day. Like Insecure, I don't know if anybody watches um, the TV sh the TV show yet. The TV show Insecure, when Issa's always talking in the mirror. So yeah. All right, and then the glue gun with the strings happening.
probably should have like some nice soft jazz in the background or some um <laughs> or some music <laughs> playing but i don't know We are putting a day in, We're making some moves. And this could look so cute too, like on a couch or like if you like to change out your, um, your bedding, like for different seasons or, or you, oh, that'd be cool. Like if you did like different themed, uh, bedding. <laughs> So, so like if you did like different holiday decor pillows on your bed, that would be cute or um, living room decor as well. Let me just look at it and see what we, where we're going with this. Um, yeah. Core, are you still out there? By any chance? I'm looking. Alright. Alright, so this is what we're getting with so far. Probably could have put this a little bit over a little bit. Yeah, and if you make a mistake on it, if you want to try to catch it a little earlier so that you can unpeel it and then and then redo it. Because, like, this glue gun is actually, or this hot glue is, it bonds pretty well. So, once it's on there, it's on there. So, if you want to worry about something, or if you don't want to worry about something not being durable enough, this definitely has enough durability. <laughs> so yeah. All right, so now we're gonna start working on the actual um, perimeter of the pillow. All right, and I'm gonna put this red, these red petals up, so I don't accidentally start picking them up. And we're doing a perimeter. So, do you guys have any like ideas of any DIYs that you guys want to see for the future? Any DIYs that you want to see happen, or do you just like me picking them? Because <laughs> that's what I do. I actually prefer that, so that actually works. All right. I'm going to actually turn it this way so I can see it, see what I'm doing. Over it. All right. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat later. I'm so proud. I went to the gym earlier. And so I probably need to eat something healthy or something that didn't just waste my whole workout that I did earlier. All right. Just add in the petals real easy. Add 
<laughs> yeah, anybody got anything to talk about? Anybody got anything they want to share? <laughs> So yeah, I recently went um, to the movies and I've seen this movie called Escape Room, which um, it was actually pretty good. Like, um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the movie was because I don't want to be a spoiler. A spoil what they say? What they say these days? Spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't want it to be a spoiler alert, but it was pretty good. I was surprised. I'm surprised. It kind of reminds me of there's this movie on Netflix which is called the um called the box. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh, how long have I been doing DIY? Um, I've bruh, I've been actually uh, crafting and DIY since I was like in elementary school, and I realized that. You know, after life happens, <laughs> that that's actually what um, I really like to do. I really like to do it. So I've always done it for like, like I'll do it here and there, like throughout my life. But I, I would always like step away from it because of whatever, you know, life situation was happening. But I realized that that actually was probably uh, really something that was very special to me. So yeah, I actually I realized I liked DIY when I was in elementary school and I was in like this <clears throat> after school program and it was like um, a Thanksgiving. Uh, we did like a DIY after school program and it was like a the Thanksgiving, the, uh, the, uh, what's that thing called? The corpy, the corpy kind, the, the thing that sits in the table for things, the thing for Thanksgiving. And we were doing a DIY project and I realized I really like, um, doing DIY projects and DIY. So yeah, so I want to say like at the age of maybe seven, eight, maybe I've been doing it. So, yeah. And then I was raised uh, with my grandma and my grandma's next door neighbor. Uh, we were around the same age. I don't know if he's ever hopped into any of my live streams, but um, we used to always make stuff too. Like we was making slime back in the day before it became popular. <laughs> and, um, like making box cars, like grabbing like everyday boxes and trying to turn it into like an actual car and stuff like that. So been doing it for a while. So thank you for that question. All right. So we're making our way on down. I don't know if you can see it. The light. So yeah. So yep, you're just gonna add the petals as you go down on the pillow. Just making sure you cover all of the white areas with some of the petals. And you could actually do this too because the Dollar Tree has white petals. You can do um, like white petals on the pillow. It's right because everything is out of the Ah, I missed it. Ah, I missed it. Oh, Miss Mary, I missed it. I seen part of it, but thank you. So, um, I guess 
I need to read faster. <laughs> And oh yeah, I remember when I was younger too, we used to uh, try that speed reading thing where you just try to read fast, but you could never, never really remember what you read, <laughs> but you read it fast. I don't know if I'm going with that at all, but yeah. But yeah, so you just want to cover the petals to make sure that there is no white showing on the pillow. And I might have to start doing some um, some giveaways for these crafts because I uh, I just I try to clean up yesterday and I realized I have a lot of a lot of stuff going on over here. <laughs> like I know this this area looks pretty decent. Well, actually, this room like this room like if you really seen this room right now, like this room is really like. It goes pretty hard, if, if I do say so myself. I've done a lot of um, changes to it that you can't really see because I'm always in this particular area. But, yeah. I do have a video on it before, if you haven't seen it, which is the uh, Vintage Glam Craft Room Tour. So, yeah, check that out. At your convenience. <laughs> at your convenience. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to keep adding the petals. Keep adding. But yeah, so yeah, back to the traveling thing though. Yeah, I definitely want to um, do some more traveling. That involves money, <laughs> but but I definitely want to do that. I don't know if T is on here. Is T on here? Okay, they, they play, they're playing. So yeah, but yeah, I want to go to. I really want to go to Tokyo. Like that's on my list of places to go. A place with culture. It doesn't have to be Tokyo. It actually can be anywhere. But. Yeah, hopefully at least one trip can happen this year. Hopefully. Oh yeah, so back on movies. <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all, I, I asked last time any Netflix originals going down, but um, there's this cool uh, Netflix series that um, that I watched. I don't think they have any recent ones, um, but it's called Black Mirror, and it's kind of like like a modern day. Twilight Zone, which is pretty good that I watch, and they have some new, um, they have this new movie called The Black Mirror Bandersnatch, which is actually pretty cool. It's, it's an interactive movie where you basically can choose how the, um, the ending will end. But you really can't, but you can. So it has like a few different scenarios, a few different endings that it can do. But you basically are watching the movie and then like a little box will pop up and ask you a question on, you know, what you think the main character should do. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. I don't know how they did it. But I feel like there was a movie like that back in the day. I forgot the name of that one, but it's really cool though. If you guys have Netflix and you want to check it out, it's 
they're not sponsoring anything. I just <laughs> just thought you would want to know because it's cool. So yeah. All right, we are putting it a dent in it, getting it done. Getting it done. Okay. All right. Can you see that? Okay. All right. I'm going to add another glue stick in here. So I think the first pillow that I did used about, uh, I want to say I used about like six glue sticks. I'm like, yeah, maybe about six. So we're on glue stick number two. And I have a mini glue gun, I think this is. So yours, if you use glue, a uh, hot glue gun, then yours might use less um, glue sticks. So getting it done. Yeah, I love stuff with texture for some reason. Like, texture just makes it so much more, um, texturized. <laughs> no, it makes it, it makes it more, um, it just adds more layers to it. It adds more depth. Yeah, I feel like Georgia hasn't really had, like, its main winner yet. Like, I wanted to go do, um, like, cut some vines, but I wanted to wait till all of the greenery was off the vines first before, so it'll make it easier for me to do it. And it's still lush and green. <laughs> so, I don't know... I was told though that February is supposed to be the peak of winter, which I didn't, I don't know. I guess that's up for debate. <laughs> that is up for debate. If you see me just doing this, I'm just getting the glue strings off of me. And then you also can do like any kind of design on the front. It doesn't have to necessarily be a heart. I probably should have did this one a little bit different than the other one. Um, well, it is a little bit different because it's going to have different colors and I, I inversed the heart. So instead of it being a pink heart on the other one, this is a red heart. So it's a little bit different, but you can also do like, um, XO. So like if you wanted to do like an X, like a, <laughs> if you wanted to do like an X and then like an O. Um, I think that'd be cute too. So you would have, ooh, like if you had like, uh, if you took the time and did like four of these pillows and then you did like two of them that were inverse and they had the heart and then two that had the EXO, like, you better tell me nothing. <laughs> you won't be able to tell me nothing. That would be cute. Actually really, really be cute. Matter of fact, I could still make that happen. 
I mean, I wouldn't do another video on it, but. Because I already got two now. And I do the EXO. My whole little couch. Couch would be ready for Valentine's Day. So, yeah. Okay. And then I was thinking about doing this live on Friday, but I didn't do it on Friday because I felt like a lot of people would be at work. But I don't know. I just try to, I don't have like a specific schedule at this time because I work, but um, try to just get it in when I can. Once you add the petals, you just want to make sure that you just kind of <clears throat> leave your finger there and just kind of press it down and hold it for a minute. And like I said, it's kind of hot because it's a hot glue gun, so you just always want to make sure um, that you're being careful as you can. And I know I said I worked out earlier, but I really have a taste for like an Oreo blizzard. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds so good. With extra Oreos. <laughs> With extra Oreos. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I don't need a large though. I'll just get a small. I might make that happen too. Yeah, I'll just work it out. How's everybody's goals? going for 2019 anybody set any goals i don't know if they say new year's resolutions anymore or if they just say goals but i guess it's all kind of the same thing And this is basically the easiest part of the project. Um, the other part of the project where I have to add the feathers, that's, that's kind of probably be the trickiest part of the project. coming off nice. I wish it could be like on um like when you watch the Food Network when they uh already have oh actually I could I could have did that where they already have like part of the pillow done so you don't have to just be 
like doing the whole thing from scratch. I guess that's a good idea for the next one. I might start one and then like halfway finish it and then um, be like, voila. And then <laughs> I might do that next time. Because some of these projects you mess around, you be on here for about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> at that point in time it won't be just a crafting with cost live like you know short video to be all day crafting <laughs> craft with me for the day <laughs> if you really knew what was going on <laughs> Yeah, it's everything's inspiration for something else, yeah. I didn't get the last part. I got the first part of the other part. We are getting, we are getting done. Well, <laughs> I'm speaking too soon. <laughs> I'm speaking too soon. And I wanted it to be sunny today. Oh, I wanted it to be sunny. Just is what it is. to the bottom I'm sorry. I keep missing them. <laughs> I keep missing them because I'm looking down. Well, so what's the blue Peter moment? I did see that part, but I kind of missed the other, the last part of it. Okay, I'm not gonna look down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look down, but I'm gonna like, <laughs> read. I'm gonna look up and look down. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I remember when I was younger, I seen some type of, um, I don't know who was crafting. I don't know what show it was. It might've been a children's program that I used to really like. And I don't know if it lasted too long, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think they have too many uh, crafting programs anymore, like on regular TV like they used to. Like they how they have like the food programs.
Oh, for, for, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that next time. Because, yeah. <laughs> have it prepared. Beforehand. Well, at least you guys get to see the whole process. <laughs> and this one, I'm not having a lot of uh, issues like some of my other projects. Because y'all don't get to see when it takes me a week to do one thing because of issues. <laughs> or stuff not working out right. Or me thinking... It's going to work out one way in my head and then me doing it and then and not working out and then, yeah, so. Because most of the projects that I do, I actually do it the first, when you, when I, when you see them on my channel, they're the first um, version of the product or the, or the actual project. But like the ones that I do live, I do try to do them beforehand so that I know it might work out <laughs> I know I have a shot <laughs> I have a shot in life <laughs> very, very brave. thank you thank you it is brave thank you very much <laughs> this is brave <laughs> this is because uh, if you see me earlier today walking around here acting like Doing everything but getting ready to do this. <laughs> everything but it. But like I said, after I start doing it, I'm like, oh, this is not so bad. I'll, I'll make it. I'll live. <laughs> I'll live. I survived. Put some glue behind this one and stick this right up in on here. All right, y'all. We so we are really almost really finished now. I just got this little bit of this little bit of section right here, and then we'll add the feathers. And so these can also be. I meant to show you with the other one too, but they also can be ugh, reversible. So you can do it uh, like this, or you could do it like this. So you know we're doing reverse reversible DIYs over here. Cut for the streets. <laughs> yeah, I had just noticed that when I finished it, I was like, this could be, this could be reversible. Yeah. Sometimes you have. Stuff turned into stuff you didn't even know you could turn into. Happy, good mistakes. Well, I guess that wasn't a mistake, but um, newfound, newfound uh, ways. I guess that's a good way to say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm going to use the tag that I cut off of, you can't see it, the, the tag that I cut off of the, um, the pillow, I'm going to use that for like, uh, a clothing DIY, so I don't know if I'm going to do like another denim jacket one or a sweat, a sweatsuit, like sweatshirt and some sweatpants, and then I'm going to stick the, um, the tags on there somewhere because I think that would be cute and kind of artistic. So I'm saving those. I gotta remember where I put them. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a blizzard today. <laughs> I deserve it. I'm getting a blizzard. I'm getting an Oreo blizzard. Maybe that's happening today. Or a cupcake. Comment down below. Let me know if I should get a cupcake <laughs> or a blizzard. Oreo. Okay. 
Yeah, and really one pack of each. So one pack of pink petals and one pack of red petals will be enough to uh, do two pillows. Actually, it'd be more than enough to do two pillows because I'm still gonna actually um, have some petals left. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other petals. I don't know. I guess I'll figure that out. Okay. All right. So we're on glue stick number three. And we are 52 minutes in. I'm going to try to knock this out in 60 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it though. Yeah, I can do it. I can make that happen right at 60. Where are you going to use it? Um, I'm going to use it. So I'm, I think I'm going to put these on my couch. And I might uh, show a picture. Nah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put them on my couch. <laughs> I'm going to put them on my couch. Might as well theme out my living room. Alright. I might show a picture of what they look like on the couch on my um on the community tab. I don't know. Oh please add a pic later. Okay, yeah, I'll add a pic. Yeah. I, I'll probably add it to the community tab. I don't know if everybody's seeing my community post, but I'll probably add it there. All right. Put a little bit more glue there. And oh yeah, 50 more than 54 minutes. All right, all right. All right, so we got the whole pillow full of petals. And now I am going to add the feather boa. So, you know, it's nothing like crafting if you're not making a mess <laughs> now i don't i don't make messes over here i try to i can't i don't like cleaning stuff up so i try to clean up as i go so that's why i'm putting all of these petals back in this bag all right and so now the the, the tricky part is these feathers, these feathers. <laughs> but um go ahead and take the tag off and so I actually got these on, um, if you go to Hobby Lobby, I don't know if they have a Hobby Lobby, um, different countries, but these, uh, feather boas were, yeah, she will. Yeah, she will love it. Um, but, uh, they have these at Hobby Lobby for, uh, two nine. I got these for two ninety nine. So uh, they're on sale, on clearance. But if they're not on sale, the day that you go, if you have a Hobby Lobby, you can always just download the 40% off coupon uh, so that you can get a discount off of them. And like I said before, they're also at the dollar store. They just didn't have the Valentine's uh, themed feather boas. They only have the St. Patrick's Day uh, boas at the Dollar Tree that I a few dollar shoes that I want to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add the feather boas to the uh, perimeter of the pillow, and I'm going to actually do it from the back so it covers up the seam. And so I'm going to do it. Basically, I'm just going to grab the end, and then I'm going to try to get as close to the, the base or the string that the feather boas are attached to um, so I can adhere it to the actual perimeter. So I'm going to start at the end and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and then start adding 
the feather boa. All right, 56 minutes. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? All right. All right, and just put your fingers there, hold it, and let it um, adhere. All right, all right. All right, and then just do the same thing around the whole perimeter of the pillow. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, C. I'm gonna put this around it. going around the perimeter and you want to get as close to the actual string that is in uh, that well that holds the feather boa together it in place. All right, the feathers shed are shedding a little bit, but they're not shedding actually too bad for everything that's going on. All right, and just add some glue. Keep going around. Glue stick four. So I basically use floor four floor <laughs> four uh, glue sticks for this project. If anybody's on Instagram, if y'all could check me out, uh, Crafting with Cost on Instagram and Facebook, <laughs> and I'm on Twitter. I, don't, I haven't really, I don't know how to use Twitter. I just got on Twitter not too long ago. I haven't really figured it out, but I'm on Twitter too. <laughs> Crafting with Cost. <laughs> Almost finished. Just got these last. Oh, 60 minutes. I didn't make it. Okay, I should make it by uh, 60 minutes and five. 65 minutes. <laughs> 60 minutes and five. <laughs> 65 minutes. I should be able to make it. Oh, the pressure. Oh, thank you. Like on the front. Okay. I don't know if y'all can really see it because it's white too, so it's kind of hard for it to show up with this white table <laughs> with these white lights <laughs> on this white pillow. <laughs> Alright, and when I get start getting to the end of it, I'm going to um, glue stick glue stick five. Um, 
start um, cutting off the, the feather boa. Uh, yeah. Oh, y'all yeah, call it cushion. Okay. No, we call them throw pillows in the U.S. Yeah. Hey, Megan. Thank you. Yeah, we call them throw pillows. But I do want to go to the U.K. I've, I've seen some other... Uh, youtubers from the uk and i want to go i want to go to that store yeah i have y'all have in the uk called um what is that store called i don't know never mind <laughs> i forgot the name of the store i wanted to go to i'll probably remember it after this too i probably will remember that the name of the store that i want to go to all right almost finished Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and use my scissors, and you probably can't see this, but this little part right here, I'm just going to make sure I have enough to uh, wrap over, and I'm just going to cut this part off. Make sure I got enough clearance. Alright, so it's really easy to cut too, so, and I'll save those feathers the rest of the feathers for something else somewhere down the line. you can't see that but I'm basically just trying to make sure that I overlap it so that oh, let me focus blue stick six <laughs> None of the seam of the pillow is showing. Okay. And like I said, this is the most uh, difficult part of it, or just the most tedious part of it, because you just got to make sure that you're not just sticking the feathers on it you're actually sticking the um the little rope that attaches it so. yay <laughs> yay <laughs> all right so we got the pillow it's finished and then we got the other pillow thank you thank you so much watching we cook oh hey troy Okay, and thank you, Miss Mary. So we got the whole set situation going on. So like I said before, it's very glam. And then, like I said, you can also, <laughs> they're reversible. So you can boom, boom. Oh, you can see it. <clears throat> so yeah. So, all right. So thanks again so much for watching. And like always, <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, C. All right. Thanks again so much for watching. Y'all have a great...
safe um, and fun weekend. And I'll see y'all in the next DIY. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>